Alright, how's it going guys? Mr. Computer Guy 199 here and today I'm going to be teaching you how to upgrade your iPad. Well, I have the iPad 2. It'll work with the iPad mini. Um iPad to iOS 6. I know it's kind of late on the video, but um I just decided to make it still. So, you're going to need your iPad USB connector. So, it's from the charging point one cord to a USB. So, what you're going to do is you're going to plug in Oops. The charging part into the iPad. Actually, I'm going to set this in front here. And then you're just going to take your USB and plug it into your computer. And upgrading iOS's, you can do it straight from the iPad itself. I choose not to. Also, it does work on Windows. Um, you just need iTunes. So, yeah. Um, you're going to go ahead and open up iTunes, and there was an update for it, in case you didn't know that, so I haven't been in to iTunes since the update was uh, there, so I'm going to hit agree, and wait for that to come up. Okay, so this is definitely new to me. Whoa. Um, okay, I should have done this before I started the video, but why not do it now? Alright, so there's all my songs. Alright, so it's asking me to, um, up, it's, it's saying a new iPad software version 6.0.1 is available for the iPad, Hunter Brooks' iPad. Would you like to download it and update your iPad, update your iPad now? I'm going to go ahead and hit cancel, and I'm going to wait for it to back up my iPad and sync it. So it's backing up my iPad. Preparing to sync. Waiting for changes to apply. And now we wait for Dragon Tic Dictation to uh, finish and Road Trip 2. Road Trip 2 is a fun game. And then Dragon Dictation is a. Uh, well, it dictates what you say. I will have a review of that app as soon as possible. Alright, so now we just wait for this to load. And finishing sync. Okay, so now I'm going to go into the iPad part. And it says how much gigabytes you have free. I have 8.32. So most of it is my video, which actually I'm going to delete most of my video. Uh, another part is photos. Another part is audio. Another part is apps books and then other so it already backed up and right now I'm going to hit oh also here's something that you can change backups automatically back up here I'll put this in full screen for you so you can automatically back it up um, to iCloud or this computer I have mine set up to this computer because I don't want to take up my iCloud space so you can go ahead and do whatever you prefer but, yes, <laughs> believe it or not, I am still on version 5.1.1 for my iOS. So you're just going to want to hit update. Alright? Um, it says there are purchased items on the iPad, Hunter Brooks' iPad, that have not been transferred. You should transfer these items to your iTunes library before updating this iPad. Are you sure you want to continue? I'm just going to hit continue. Okay. Now we hit next. Agree. And then this is the part that takes a while. So I guess I'll skip this part. And we are back. So we're waiting for that to finish downloading. And once it does, we will put it on to Hunter Brooks' iPad, which is me. Okay. Now it's iPad software update processing file. Great, more waiting. Well. Okay, and there we go. Now it's extracting software. This shouldn't take too long. Isn't waiting fun? Okay, so 
That's almost done. Come on. <laughs> Alright. Verifying the iPad update with Apple. And right now it's saying that it's a black iPad, but it's not. <laughs> I know it does that. Okay, so don't know how well you can see that. Oh, okay. It was saying connect to iTunes. I'm actually going to take off my smart cover right now. Okay, now this is the part that we have to wait for a lot. We wait for this to finish. So I'll be back. My iPad did this last time I was trying to update it. I don't know what's wrong with it. Might just have to call Apple. Oh well. <laughs> oh well. Well, you guys get the point, so let's see if it works. And if it doesn't, then yeah. Okay, I think it's working now. Yeah, I think it's going. Keep in mind, when you're updating your iOS, there is going to be a lot of waiting. Um... Some of it depends on your internet speed when you're downloading the software from iTunes. Some of it de depends on possibly your computer speed or your iPad speed or your iPod, whatever you're trying to update. So, yeah. Okay. Now, if this does work properly... I'll show you how to get everything back that you have on the iPad because it's doing a restore so yeah we're gonna have to get everything back but that shouldn't be too hard you just have to restore the iPad back up I don't think I'm going to be jailbreaking my iOS 6 iPad. I don't feel the need for it. I haven't really been using any of my Sia apps. Um, yeah, I'm not going not gonna to use it.
Okay, it's been to its full factory settings and it will restart. And then now we wait. I thought I said it was restarting, not loading more stuff. Nah. Yay, welcome to your new iPad. Alright, so this is the part where you're going to want to, um, yes, thank you, okay. So now we have this part, right, where it says iPad stuff. It says, welcome to your new iPad. Set up as new iPad or restore from backup? I'm going to restore mine from the backup. If you've already set up your iPad before and used it with iTunes, it should have backed it up. Um, do the backup unless you want to set it up as a new iPad. I don't know why you'd want to do that, but I'm setting it up as a restore. So you're going to click continue, and uh, it'll restore the iPad from your backup. And my last backup was today, and it was 10 minutes ago. So I'm like, whoa. No, 50, 15 minutes ago. So your iPad have been restored. Please leave your iPad connected. Okay. So now my iPad settings have been restored. Sorry if this video is long, but kind of had to. Okay. Okay. Why does everything have to take so long? I don't know. Um. If you want me to review this Belkin sleeve for my iPad, I will. And I'm going to have a review of Dragon Dictation. Okay, so now it's syncing my apps, and as you can tell, I can use my iPad now. Alright, your iPad was restored successfully. There are just a few more steps to follow, and then you're done. Alright, so I'm not going to show you this because um, it does have some personal stuff on it, so I'm just going to aim the camera up a little bit. I'm just setting up my iPad. Start using iPad. Okay. What are the things we notice off the bat with iOS 6? Um, there is a clock in iOS 6, which is something I was really looking forward to because there was no clock with iOS 5.1.1, and I was really needing it. And now that I have it, it's great. Um... Yeah, um, my apps are installing, all my music is syncing back, my messages are there, my mail is there, everything seems to be good. Um, let's see my iBooks, uh, those are syncing, wait, okay. Okay. Yep, everything is re-downloading. Well, all the stuff that was on my iTunes, and yeah. Um, that's about it. Um, so now it syncs, and you're good to go. So I'm just going to minus that out. And yep, that's it. Um, I will see you guys later. Bye.